Well, well, people of God, good to see you. It's been some time. I've missed you. I hope you've missed me. Wow, a lot is happening in the world, isn't it? There's so much happening right now. There's so much to talk about. And uh, I want to give you some prophetic thoughts, prophetic perspectives of what's going on, what the Lord's doing, and what you and I can expect. But truly, we are in a crucial window and important season. And those who have ears to hear will not only hear, but they will be able to launch forward into their destiny and into the things of God. So there's many things I want to say today. Obviously, uh, I've been a bit absent here on Facebook and on social media. Been very busy traveling and ministering. But uh, I want to talk to you today. There's a lot I want to cover, a lot I want to review. Amen. So let all of the prophetic intercessors begin to jump in. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Begin to share this on your wall. I believe the Facebook meta has lifted uh, the algorithm shadow ban on Christian ministers and uh, people who are a little bit more outwardly spoken on political content matters so i think that's going to be good for us amen in fact uh, last night i was just kind of reviewing uh my videos and my content on this page and i saw how uh you know some of my live videos had just shot up in numbers so and you know some people might say well dr ben it's not about the numbers but we want to reach more people right this grace needs to reach more people people need to hear the word of the lord Instead of, you know, trans or instead of, you know, the LGBTQ or the left-wing narrative or I'm a victim or Anthony Fauci and all this blah, blah, blah. So, you know, we need to stop promoting witches and we need to start releasing the word of God. So uh, I believe the ban has been lifted or something or some somewhat. Amen. So uh, let's prove them wrong and let's prove it to be true. Amen. So let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Praise the Lord. I want to give you some shout outs in a little bit. But today I want to talk about three months of radical repositioning. I'm telling you, everything's changing. You don't need to be a space scientist. You don't need to be an astronaut to see, to discern that everything's changing. There's so much going on. But this is all good news. This is all for our good. This is all for the betterment of the kingdom of God, all for the betterment of the good news. So in midst of all the unusual suddenlies and even nonsense, God is on the throne and the Lord is behind it all. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, like I said, because I've been traveling, I've been ministering so busy. I just came back from Canada. Actually, I just came back this morning from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, I landed around 12.30 a.m., and I got home around 2 a.m., 2.30, and then I couldn't sleep till about maybe 6 a.m. Glory be to God, but I'm happy to be here. Amen. And then tomorrow, I'm actually flying off to India, okay? Tomorrow, I'm flying off to India, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I came uh, out so early or so late last night. Amen. Because I'm going out to India tomorrow. I'm starting seven weeks of crazy travel, y'all. I'm going to about eight to nine different countries in the next seven weeks. So pray with me. Pray with your boy, Dr. B. Lim, because truly God is sending. Uh, God is releasing. God is not done. Amen. Let me just try to sharpen this a little bit more. 
God is sending his prophets, his intercessors, his prophetic voices, and the Lord is on the move. Amen. So let me know where you're watching from. Hello there, Minnesota. Thanks for being a, a subscriber. Shalom. Kashik, I bless you. Prophet Louise, bless you. John, good to see you. Andre Kruger's daughter, South Africa, bless you. Anthony Moreno, that's right, Patrice, bless you. Prophetess Ivana, Tammy Holt, Andrew Ellie Jr., Betty, Catherine Hart, glory be to God. Chicago in the house. Amen and amen. South Africa, wonderful. Help me to continue to build up the room because I want to prophesy uh, into the events of things that are going on. Amen. Hi, Sharon. I can't wait to see you and your family in Singapore soon. Tanya, bless you, bless you. Glory be to God. I just want to uh, praise the Lord because early this morning uh, uh, I got a message from Thailand and uh, some of the biggest doors in Thailand just got opened. So all the glory goes to God because I've been waiting for the response of these apostles. And uh, I've been waiting for the response of these apostles in Thailand. But something huge is coming, my friends. I'm telling you, something huge is coming. And I'm sure we all could feel it, see it, discern it. But something great is right around the corner. So get ready. It's time to get ready. It's time to prepare ourselves, consecrate ourselves even more. Amen. And today on July 22nd, 2 2. I want to declare double blessings, double open doors, the keys of David over your life today on July 22nd. Can I get an amen? Glory be to God. Hey, I want to make one more announcement. Amen. I want to make one more announcement here. Tonight, we are doing a Zoom webinar. Amen. Tonight, we are doing a Zoom webinar on the culture of heaven. It is totally free. Amen. Glory be to God. And I want to encourage you to join us tonight because we're going to talk about the way of heaven, the culture of heaven, uh, you know, the values of heaven. And we're going to talk about uh, the things of God tonight on this free Zoom webinar. And I believe God's going to catch us up into the heavenly realms, into the courts of heaven. It's going to be very, very powerful. Amen. So glory be to God. Let me know where you're watching from. Amen. I'm happy to see you. And if you are interested or if you are joining tonight's webinar, I want you to comment interested or joining. Amen. Interested or joining. Praise God. Well, there's a few things that I want to talk about right now. Uh, you already know that I've been prophesying a um, number of things. Praise God. Now, I don't have to timestamp and I don't have to, you know, post uh, when these prophecies have been made. Because anybody who's been following me and knows me, they know what I'm talking about. And there is a witness and a confirming witness of what's been spoken and what's been prophesied. Amen. Um, but obviously a lot has happened in the last week plus. A lot has happened in one week, y'all. And uh, of course, for the last couple of years, we've been uh, praying against assassination attempts against Donald J. Trump and assassination attempts even against Joe Biden, all right? Uh, you know, we desire for Joe Biden to repent and to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, not to get assassinated, not to die, not to get killed maliciously, right? But we know that there is a one world order behind all these things. And who knows, they might be trying to Jeffrey Epstein is behind. They might be trying to Jeffrey Epstein and clean up the evidence and scapegoat even like Diddy. All right. We know that Diddy was involved with many of these things with, you know, so-called preachers and ministers and, and uh, you know, all of these Hollywood elites with trafficking and abuse. But it wasn't just Diddy. All right. We all know that most likely Diddy's just taken a fall because he's a scapegoat. He's the easy target, right? He's got too much dirt or too much evidence on everybody else. And that's probably the same thing that's happening with Biden, right? They're done with Biden, so now 
they're cleaning their hands and they're all turning their backs against Biden. But what we're seeing right now is the whole Democratic Party is crumbling and crushing. They are frantically trying all that they can because the assassination attempt against President Donald J. Trump failed. Somebody say amen. And I'm telling you, this is a month of turnaround. This month of July is a great month of turnaround. I'm telling you, you know, I've already prophesied the prophetic word of the month for July. But the Lord said your lowest point will become your highest point. And of course, in this month of July, amen, we know that in the Hebrew calendar, it is Tammuz. And in Tammuz, uh, begins the three weeks of mourning. Friends, tomorrow begins the three weeks of mourning. Tomorrow, Tuesday, July 23, begins the three weeks of mourning. Now, what's the three weeks of mourning? The three weeks of mourning are the worst, uh, most detestable, uh, destructive timeline in the history of Israel, biblically. It's when Moses was angry and threw down the tablets of stone because the Israelites were prostituting themselves around the golden calf. And that opened the door and the cycle. Somebody say cycle. It opened the door and the cycle for continual destruction. Now, what happened right after that? All right, they, not right after that, but after that, they were besieged. Okay, the walls of Jerusalem were besieged and were broken into, were run over. And eventually the temple was destroyed. And the Israelites were taken away into exile after the Holy Ghost. They were taken away into exile. And that same time, years later, 70 AD, the second temple was destroyed. So July is a month where cycles are broken and new cycles are activated or cycles are broken and new cycles are activated. So tomorrow actually begins the three weeks of mourning of the worst, most detrimental attacks, the heinous crimes, the lowest point in all of Israel's history. But the Lord said, your three weeks of mourning will become three weeks of miracles. Amen. He, she, who has ears to hear, let him hear. It will be three weeks of miracles. Because for the believer, for the child of God, we have the upper hand by grace because every hidden thing is revealed, exposed, every secret is shared with his prophets. And so for the believer, we have the upper hand, not the lower hand. And God begins to expose the plots and plans of the enemy. So these three weeks of mourning, which the enemy meant for evil, God's going to turn it around for good. And they're going to become three weeks of miracles. Now, in the last couple of weeks, you had a hurricane barrel shutting down the electricity of, what, 300,000 plus homes in Houston, Texas. Mega destruction in the Bahamas. You have the Microsoft. Come on, do you think this is a coincidence? The last day, the third day of the RNC, the Republican National Convention, boom, Microsoft Word program shuts down. Thanks, Bill Gates. Thanks, Bill Gates. And all, all of America is in chaos. 1,800 plus flights are canceled that day. Thank God it was, a, what, Friday. I was already in Canada, so I wasn't traveling in that hoopla, in that mess. So thank God for that wisdom. Amen. But Microsoft Word crashes. And I've already been prophesying about citywide shutdowns. Nation shutdowns, blackouts, cyber attacks. I've been prophesying this. In fact, you could probably go back to uh, the 24 prophetic words for 2024 that I released. And these airplanes are shut down. Banks, ATMs. Come on, somebody. Now, here's a little rule of thumb for me personally. For me personally, I don't put any of my personal money in the bank. That's just how I roll. Okay. Yes, our ministry and our business, of course, we need things to operate. But for me, I don't put any of my money personally in the bank, okay? Because I don't like giving them my money, all right? 
I like to have that hands-on, direct cash flow for whatever I need to do. All right, that's just where I'm at personally, and that's my belief. But, of course, on the last day of the RNC, the Republican National Convention, which if you've been watching, I mean, my gosh, such a comeback of the Republican Party. And, of course, guys, it's the Republican Party that freed the slaves. The Republican Party was created for the purpose to abolish slavery. Yes, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. And Abraham Lincoln and number of African American people, ex-slaves, started the Republican Party. So the Republican Party is the pro-life party, pro-God, pro-liberty party. So it was the Republicans that actually abolished slavery. Somebody say amen. Glory be to God. And so we see on the third day, the last day of the RNC, bam, the cyber attacks, blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. But of course, Donald J. Trump testifies and glorifies God, Jesus, because it was such a miracle. These crazy people, these loonies, think that President Trump ah, was the one who set it up. Do you know who set it up? The deep state, the Secret Service, the FBI, the CIA, all right, Obama. It was the deep state that set it up. Obviously, the evidence is clear. And finally, <clears throat> I believe they're having the hearings and the trial today. But finally, uh, the head of uh, the United States Secret Service, USSS, just stepped down and resigned. Finally, this incumbent, incompetent numbskull finally got the clue and stepped down. People of God, hear me. I know I'm talking a lot politically right now. But we are in a season of a great changing of the guards. And we are in a season where people are getting plucked off, ticked off. You know that there's been exposure in the church world, even in the government world, in Hollywood, with, with the leftists, with the fake news and the media. But we are in a season right now where people are getting ticked off. People are getting plugged out. Say bye-bye, bye-bye. And we see that with Joe Biden, this potato head couch potato. We see that with the ice cream cone man named Joe Biden. Now he has officially uh, ha -ha, resigned from the presidential run. And guess what? It looks like he's actually about to resign from the last, what, uh, six months of his term as president. Well, he was never president first off, right? He's just been the biggest scam artist and the biggest puppet. But it looks like he's officially going to resign because now they're saying that there's a medical emergency, blah, 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 blah. The whole thing is a hoopla. The left is turning amongst themselves. Things are crumbling. Lies are being exposed. You cannot build a house on lies. You cannot build a house on a deck of cards. And it's all crumbling. But I want to talk about this three-month season that we're in. Because more and more, we're going to see shaking. We're going to see suddenlies. And more and more, somebody say amen. We're going to see the justice of God, the goodness of God. Somebody say amen. Now, you already know, praise God, that... Um, the Hebrew New Year is coming up, man. So excited. The Hebrew New Year is coming up in the next two and a half, three months. Praise God. Let's see exactly when Rosh Hashanah is. Glory be to God, October 2nd. So the Hebrew New Year is literally in about two and a half months away. All right. Now, you're going to be hearing me talk a lot more about the new Hebrew year. 5785 and even 2025. You're going to be hearing me talk a lot more about that in the next few weeks and next month plus. And I want you to remember where you heard these prophetic words first. And I've been brewing, sitting with God for the word of the Lord for the new year, 5785 and 2025. Amen. But let me tell you, 
The Lord is opening doors for his children. And before, hear me now, before we cross over to 5785, we still have about two and a half months left of 5784. And what do we call 5784? The year of the door of greater glory, according to Psalm 24, 2024. The year of the door of greater glory. So in the next two months, hear me, there's going to be mega open doors that fling wide open for your life. Mega open doors. Now for me, I'm going to be traveling for seven weeks straight, y'all. Seven weeks straight, all across Asia and South Pacific. I'll be in eight to nine countries, right? I'm flying off tomorrow, so pray for me. Pray for your boy, Dr. B. The Lord is sending me on assignment, and together we're going to reap a greater, glorious harvest. Amen. Jesus. But you see, there are some major doors that God has opened for me by the grace of God, and he's going to continue opening. So we need to pray into this before it transitions to 5785. We have two and a half months left of 5784, the realm and the anointing of the open door or the year of the door of greater glory. So we must press into this. We must fast into this, sow into this, pray into this, get ready y'all. I'm telling you, it's not time for games. Some of the things that God's been downloading to me in our ministry as we're shifting and as we are evaluating and as we are beginning to implement, it's incredible. I'm so proud of our team. Praise God. I give you public claps and kudos and praises. But I'm so excited to see the moves that we're making for expansion. So the Lord has me to declare this over you. Amen. There is a repositioning for greater glory. A repositioning for greater glory. Amen. There is a repositioning for greater glory. And he is changing everything. What I saw was a vision of the chessboard. And God is beginning to reposition the players. Get ready. Get set. Go. There is a repositioning on the chessboard and God is moving things around. Players are being demoted and promoted. <clears throat> Players are being disqualified and qualified. God is beginning to move things around on the national board and the global board. In the church board and in the kingdom board. There is a demotion and a promotion that's taking place. So the eyes of the Lord are searching to and fro all across the earth because we're stepping into a season of mega expansion, mega breakthrough. He is repositioning you for greater glory. And that's why you and I, we have to be agile. We have to be watchful. We have to watch and pray. That's why things are going to happen quickly. Amen. So let me just read these points the Lord said to me. Number one, repositioning for greater glory. Number two, we are in a three-month window. Now it's two and a half. Amen. We are in a two and a half month window of great change. Of great change. Two and a half month window of great change. I know we've been in a, a never-ending transition. But these next two and a half months... There's going to be quantum leaps of transition, quantum leaps, exponential growth spurts of transition in the next two and a half months. You're going to be unrecognizable. You're going to be undiscernible, all right, if that's even a word, because of how much growth and glory and expansion has taken place in your bosom. There's going to be such a ground-taking and territory-taking anointing that comes that is going to shock the world. Amen. So, number two, two-and-a-half-month window of great change and transition. Number three, mega open doors. I'm telling you, y'all, there's mega open doors of finances, of connections, of contracts, business deals. Uh, promotion, positions, 
there are mega open doors that God is releasing and that is upon us and before us in this time and in this season. So do not delay, but press in and on. Number four, there will be closed doors, closed doors. You need to begin to deliberately close doors in your life. You need to shift. I'm telling you, y'all. The reason why many people are delayed or are stuck behind is because they're not shifting with the winds of God's spirit. You need to shift with God. You need to shift with the Holy Ghost. Amen. So there's a great shift, a massive shift that's here and that is coming. And we need to close some doors. I'm telling you, God is closing doors of the demonic realms. We prophesied that this year God's opening up new portals, but he's also closing demonic portals. He's closing the WEF. He's closing the WHO. I'm telling you, I want to prophesy this right now. The door of war, the door of war, with Russia and Ukraine is closing very soon. The door of the war between Russia and Ukraine is closing very soon in Jesus' day. If you receive that, say amen. So close doors. Number five, radical steps of faith, risk and transition. Radical steps. Like I said earlier, we are in a season of quantum leaps. But you need to make the radical risk. Take the step of faith. I'm telling you, y'all, I, I shared this a few weeks ago. But I said, listen, everybody watching or whoever's in the crowd, I feel such an urgency right now. I'm telling you, pray about sowing a large sacrificial seed. Because there's something about this month and about this realm that has given us quantum leaps and exponential breakthrough growth and harvest. And I challenged the people by the word of God, by faith. And I said, pray about sowing a large sacrificial seed. And I'm telling you, y'all, that realm, that window is still open. You need to make some huge radical steps of faith. Don't miss out. The door's closing. It's don't, don't come in too late. Amen. I'm telling you, step in with faith, mega faith, great faith. This is also a launching season. Amen. This is a season of launching, of birthing. There's a new you, a new glory, a new definition, a new harvest, a new miracle anointing. There's a new identity, a new name, a new mantle. Amen. That God is releasing over the church, over the people of God. Amen. It has to be sacrificial, Prophet Alana. It has to be sacrificial. The Lord knows. So this is a season of launching. This is a season of breakthrough. It's a season where he is repositioning the table and he's saying, Whatever is before you, I'm clearing the table and I'm making a way. But you need to heed the call of the Lord, the word of the Lord. Be sensitive to Jesus. Listen, some of you, maybe in the last couple months, you just got fired. There was some uh, sudden thing that happened to you. Maybe a family passed or, you know, you got fired or you got demoted or, you know, something happened, a car accident. Right. I mean, but there was a look at me. Right. My voice is still like this after five weeks after Cuba. Right. But the Lord said it's because he's amplifying my voice. OK. My voice has not been 100 percent for the last five weeks. OK. Hallelujah. And I'm traveling for seven weeks straight and I'm preaching every single day. But the Lord said it's because he's about to amplify my voice. Because he's about to amplify your voice, the voice of the church, there's a pruning and a cleansing that's taking place. It's a greater launching. God's about to launch you into the deep. Remember, Peter was trying to fish all night in John 21, but he caught nothing. And then the Lord said, launch into the deep. 
I'm telling you, friend, it's time to launch. It's time to break through. There's a new birthing. There's a new you. And the last thing I want to talk about in this section right now in Jesus' name is tomorrow begins the three weeks of mourning. Like I said earlier, it's the three weeks of the lowest point of all of Israel's history. I mean, look, look at all the things that's happened in America around the world. Is this a coincidence? No, it's not. An assassination attempt that failed in Jesus' name, amen, by the mighty hand of God. Joe Biden stepping down and now possibly resigning. Kamala Harris being endorsed by the Clintons and by Joe Biden. Are you kidding me? Cyber attacks. Hurricane Barrel. So much going on right now. Change is in the air. There is a stirring in the spirit. There is a stirring in the atmosphere. Amen. But in midst of the demonic whirlwinds and the demonic swirls, God is doing a new thing. And there is a fresh wind and a new wind of revival, prayer, intercession, even faith that's coming to the church of Jesus Christ. The three weeks called the three weeks of mourning are the lowest point of all of Israel's history. We've been pretty low. This is the lowest of low. I'm, I'm telling you, a president of the United States getting shot at, an innocent man dying, two people in critical condition at a Trump rally, never before in history. I mean, yeah, the GFK assassination attempt, but it's been 30, 40 plus years since any of this type of nonsense has happened. Why? Because they're scared. They're losing. The left, one world, cabal order, elitists, they're losing. And what did, I believe uh, it wasn't Carl Schwab, but somebody of uh, the WEF, what did he say recently? He said that if they do not take out Donald Trump, if Donald Trump does not step down, then their plans of the one world order is finished, is ruined. Come on, give God some praise for that. Three weeks of mourning will turn into three weeks of miracles. Somebody say amen. Three weeks of miracles. I'm telling you, there is such a realm of faith, such a realm of shift, and such a realm of transition right now in the air in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it and receive it, I want you to say amen. So I want to prophesy these things to you. Amen. Are you ready for more? Come on. Are you ready for more? Hallelujah. The Lord said this. Exponential growth. Exponential growth. Explosive breakthrough. Expedited miracles. Expansive glory. And extreme harvest. The five X's, exponential growth, explosive breakthrough, expedited miracles, expansive glory, and extreme harvest. That is what's being released in the next two and a half, three months, y'all. From now to Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, the new year, Jesus, I could cry. The new year, it's going to be a fresh start soon. And the world is scrambling to try to reposition itself for the new glory, for the new year, for the head of the year that's coming. Because the doors will be closed soon. The books, the books will be closed soon. Jesus. And the Lord's about to do a new thing in your life. Exponential growth. But he she has ears to hear, let them hear. Amen. Let them hear. Hallelujah. Believe in the word of the prophets and you shall prosper. Believe in the word of the prophets and you shall prosper. Now listen, I want to say a few things. That from now till November 5th, okay, from literally the next four months. Of course we need to pray. But I believe 
what's going to happen right now, people of God? Number one, we need to pray against terrorist attacks. These illegal immigrants, so-called Iran, blah, blah, blah. It's just another George Soros backing that they've groomed these people for. But number one, we need to pray against terrorist attacks, okay, in the next four or five months. In America, in the world, pray against terrorist attacks, acts of terrorism and violence, number one. Number two, pray against any cyber attacks again. Cyber attacks, shutdowns, blackouts. Pray against cyber attacks, shutdowns, and blackouts, okay? Number three, the third thing that we must pray over, hallelujah, the third thing that we must pray over, amen, it is the financial uh, crisis in America. It's a financial crisis. Now, I believe what they're going to try to do is try to funnel even more money out of our pockets. They're going to try to scam and fraud and steal more money before it's too late. So it is a financial mess. It's a financial crisis. Number four, I believe we need to pray into this here. Uh, pray against human trafficking. Because what I saw was these groups of children. And we need to pray because, you know, once the border gets closed in Jesus' name, that human trafficking is going to go from here to there. Amen. Boom. Nullified in Jesus' name. So we need to pray against human trafficking because I really believe there's going to be more exposure. There's going to be just more radical ramping up of trafficking. The enemy is going to try to traffic, kidnap, um, smuggle all of these evil, heinous crimes. So pray for the exposure and the salvation, the rescue of these children. All right, number four. Number five, praise God. The fifth thing that we must pray for. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The fifth thing that we must pray for in the name of Jesus. Sharabata. Rakatara broso, tora broso. The fifth thing that we must pray for is, of course, the safety of Donald Trump until he wins and secures his election. I believe he's going to win. He's already won. I believe he's going to win. But you know that they're going to be so shysty and try to pull the rug or try to do something. But listen, I really believe, number six, there's going to be indictments, y'all. There's going to be overturning. There's going to be indictments. Lawsuits are coming. A great season, number seven, of victory, recompense, vindication is coming for the church. A great season of victory, recompense, and vindication. And that's why we need to pray. We need to solidify. We need to fast. We need to obey the Lord. Because these next two and a half months to Rosh Hashanah and in four months to November 5th, the election is crucial. Amen. I see, I see wars shutting down. There's going to be a season of peace, says God. A season of peace. It's going to be a, a season of peace and a season of quietness that comes. A holy hush. A holy hush will come very soon. It will be the awe of God. The sovereignty of God, the fear of the Lord. Amen. The fear of the Lord is coming upon the nation of America and the nations of the earth, the fear of the Lord, where all will see and know that God did it. His hand of righteousness, recompense, justice, and vindication. So I believe a great season of justice, vindication, vengeance, payback is coming for the church of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, say amen. For the people of God who stood strong, the prophets will be vindicated. The prophets will be vindicated. 
His true children will be honored. His true prophetic voices will receive double payback. If you believe that, say amen. So we must stand strong because there's been so much shaking and nonsense. But get ready for the suddenlies of God. The suddenlies of heaven. The enemy is crumbling amongst themselves. You see it on the left. We've seen it for years. But the enemy is crumbling amongst themselves. But as it crumbles, you and I, we must do what's right to advance forward in unity. So listen, I want to prophesy. There's going to be new alliances. It's going to be new networks, new friendships. There's going to be new connections. The Lord is beginning to rearrange and reposition things in the spirit and in the natural. There's going to be new glory, new mantles, new miracles, new ministries, new businesses. And the Lord is beginning to suddenly shift things around for your favor. People in your past are going to return to you. There will be a restoration and there will be a finalization of the full circle. But people in your past are going to return to you, repent. There's going to be a closure, says God. The doors of the past are closing. The Lord is about to elevate you and seat you and position you to be like Joseph. To be settled and secure in the seat of authority and glory. So the Lord is beginning to shift everything. Everything is changing. Amen. Everything is changing. Mandariar Korobroso Torabrasa. Rabba Shora Brota. There's a new authority, a new glory that we are coming into. Amen. Because we have passed the test. We have passed the test. I believe we're going to see more sovereign moves of God. What God did, what happened to Donald J. Trump was a sovereign move of God, was the hand of God. Undeniably. Amen. And we're going to be seeing more miracles like that break out in the next few months. For all the world to see that Jesus is Lord. If you believe it, say amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen, God is repositioning you. There's going to be relocations, new locations, three locations, dual locations. And you're going to be more effective than ever before. My gosh, I give God all the praise. If you believe and receive these words, I want to say amen. Father, I give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. That's right. He's positioning you to be like Joseph, to rule and reign. Your father and brothers will come before you, repent and be restored and reconciled. I'm telling you, friends, we are in such a prophetic move and momentum in the spirit right now. The nations are shifting and shaking and suddenly are being released. Somebody say amen. Glory be to God. I want to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Rabba Soto Rabba. Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Rabba Soto Rabba Tia Rabrata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba Satarabata. Somebody say radical faith. Somebody say mega momentum. Your face is going to change. The face of Christianity is going to change. Such a massive changing of the guards.
Listen, people of God, I want to remind you tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, we do have a free Zoom webinar, but you must register. It's at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. I want to invite you to join. It's free, but you must register. So consider joining. We're going to talk about the culture of heaven, the way of heaven, uh, what you can expect in the afterlife, amen, on earth as it is in heaven. It's going to be a powerful time. So if you're joining or if you're interested, I want you to comment interested or I want you to comment joining. Amen. But listen, I want to pray over some of you as well. But I also need your prayers because tomorrow I head out to India. And I'll be in India for a week and a half. Then after that, I go to Indonesia, then Malaysia, then Singapore, then Thailand, then I go over to, hallelujah, I go over to, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. My apologies. Then I go over to Samoa and Fiji and New Zealand. So I have seven weeks straight of traveling across the nations, across Asia, and South Pacific. The Lord has anointed me, amen, to be a forerunner in the Asian, South Pacific, Australia, Australia, Asia, Oceania nations, because these nations need the gospel. They need the fire and the power of God. But I need your prayers. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more lives and updates, broadcasts from the nations as I travel in Jesus' name, amen. But listen, I want to pray with you because the next three months are going to be crucial and critical. And you're going to hear me prophesy and declare the word of the Lord for 5785 and 2025 very soon. Okay. Are you excited about that? But listen, lift up your hands. Father, I thank you right now for mega momentum, the give shift, the mantle change, the name change. I want to prophesy this over you. Exponential growth, e explosive, amen, explosive breakthrough. You're going to break out on all sides. You're going to see growth in every area of your life exponentially. Expedited miracles, expansive glory, amen. I put exploratory of nature, haha, <laughs> hallelujah. The Lord is going to release expansive glory over your life and extreme, extreme breakthrough, extreme harvest, excuse me. The Lord's releasing extreme harvest. I'm telling you, friends, your lowest point will become your highest point. And in this season, God is doing something supernatural. He's doing something so great. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. Now lift up your hands. I want to pray with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children now. I thank you for your children now. I ask you bless them. Come upon them like never before. I ask you give them faith. Give them faith. I thank you for the transition and the repositioning. And Father, I thank you that you are about to move things forth and forward in their favor. A new anointing is coming over you, says God. A new glory and a new authority is coming over you, says the Lord. And in the next two and a half months, there's going to be a cutting away of the old, a shutting doors of the old. A restoration of full circle from the old. Recompense, payback, delayed blessings, manifest, fold. But in the next two and a half months, there's going to be such a shaking, shifting, acceleration, and suddenlies. Amen. But you will see the undeniable hand of God's miracles on your life. 
in the name of Jesus. So Father, we connect with you and we receive this grace. And I thank you that the spirit of delay is being broken. The spirit of apathy is being broken. Lift up your hands. I prophesy a new wind, a fresh wind over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your glory. Thank you, Lord. Listen, if you receive that today, I want you to say amen. I want you to say amen. Praise God. Listen, people of God, I want to see you tonight. Amen. I want to see you tonight for our Zoom webinar. I'm so excited for all that God's doing at Bedlam Ministries and really all across the earth. Jesus. But tomorrow, I am flying out to India. I'll be gone seven weeks out of the country straight. So I will miss you all. I will miss America. I will miss North America. I'll miss my friends, my family, my BAM fam. But a man's got to do what he's got to do. When you're called, you must go. When you're sent, you must go. And uh, exciting yet, you know, I was a little nervous. Because I know the grand glory, it's so massive. And honestly, I'm so unworthy. And um, that's the best place to be being aware of my unworthiness and being aware that all the glory truly goes to God and God alone. That what he's about to do, it's nothing about me. It's nothing about how great I am or how gifted or anointed I am. It's all about Jesus. And that is the best and safest place to be is in that revelation, that bosom with Jesus. But what God's about to do is so incredibly massive. Amen. And I want you to partner with me in prayer, but also partner with us. Hallelujah. Financially. Amen. Partner with us in the glory. I want to invite you to sow a seed today. Sow it to the harvest. Sow it to souls. Sow it to the mission field. Obviously, even in September, we have our Mexico glory invasion crusades. October, we have Africa, Uganda, and Kenya. So there are many things that we are embarking on and we are preparing for. But I want to invite you to sow and to partner with me in this ministry and to souls. Amen. And pray about sowing. You know, uh, this is about souls, y'all. And uh, we need your help. I need your help. Amen. And think about the souls we're going to touch and reach. Somebody has to go. Amen. And so I want to encourage you to pray about sowing a seed. You can even make a pledge if you're not able to, if you don't, if you can't right now. But I want you to comment pledge or I want you to comment souls because the Lord's about to do great things. I'm going to India, preaching in two of the biggest churches in India. Then we go to Indonesia. I'm bringing Steve Swanson to Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore. And uh, I mean, the harvest is great, y'all. Harvest is great. Then I go to Thailand. I'm preaching to two of the biggest churches in Thailand. There's something that God is doing, friends. Something massive, huge that God is doing. And I want to be a part of it. And you and I, we can be a part of that as well. So as you sow today... I want you to comment souls as you sow. Click in the, in the link, the giving link. Amen. You could even make a pledge today. But be a cheerful giver. Give of faith. Sow into this word. Sow into the vessel. Sow into this ministry. Apostle Paul said, if you've received spiritually, then should we not expect to re receive materially from you? And that it's more than a transaction. It's actually honor. It's not an exchange. It's honor. And uh, it's actually a wonderful opportunity for you and I. It's an opportunity for all of us. So you're welcome. Amen. 
Praise God. Juan Martinez, bless you. Luann Lee, bless you. Amen. Let me tell you, the best way for you to get out of poverty or your financial hardship, it is sowing into the right ground in obedience, in faith. That is the best way to get out of any hardship. Jackie Burr, thank you. But I need your prayers. And I can't wait to update you from the mission field. Next week, we are doing the prophetic word of the month for August. It's already August, y'all. Amen. Thank you, Marilyn. Bless you. And I'm telling you, there's such a great glory that God has for you and I. Such a greater glory. Praise the Lord. I've missed you all here on Facebook, on social media land. Glory be to God. Things are shifting and things are moving. And the nations are coming into alignment with Jesus. The nations. The nations are coming to alignment with the kingdom of God. Pray about sowing the seed, partner with me as we go on a seven week journey of missions, nations. Amen. Brenda, bless you. Love you guys. And I want you to comment souls as you sow or you can make a pledge in this moment. Amen. But I'm telling you, y'all, you know, if you believe everything that was said is the word of the Lord, is the prophetic rhema for you, then connect and tap in with that grace and respond in worship with faith. See what God does. Yes, yes, and amen. Remember tonight we are doing our free Zoom webinar on the culture of heaven. Can't wait to see you all at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. Thank you, Kay, bless you. Brian Charles, thank you, bless you. Jerry Allen, bless you. So many mega, mega things. Jackie Burr, thank you again. The Lord has opened up two of the biggest ministries in Thailand. And I've been praying into this. Oh my gosh, waiting. Jesus. I'm telling you, something is coming from all of this, y'all. Nothing is in vain. Nothing is in vain. Explosive growth, exponential increase, extreme harvest, expedited miracles. Jesus. Jabara Katiara Brosota, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Amen. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for jumping in. Make sure you hit the bell button to be notified whenever I come on live. Amen. And you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. We are releasing our new Breaker 2.0 show on YouTube exclusively every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. We just released it last week, and our first episode was with Real Talk Kim. So glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands. Father, bless your children today. I thank you that no word that was released, preached, and shared will return void. But it shall bear fruit in due season, in this season, in Jesus' mighty name. All of God's people say amen. Get ready for the turnaround, the overturn, vindication, justice, recompense. It's done. It's finished. All of God's people say amen. Love you all. Bless you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sowing, partnering with me. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and make sure you join us for our Zoom webinar tonight. God bless you.